You know what, dearest people? We have to learn to not put things off. Not for some moralistic reason to be a good girl, but it's because it will give us enormous satisfaction, you know. I think one of the burdens in our lives is all the undealt with, undone jobs that we feel we should do, if only we had done, all the regret. It's so painful. So, we, so in order to do this, we need to know what the obstacle is. Why is it we put things off? Well, you know what? We've got attachment, and we might have attachment to sex and drugs and rock and roll and reputation, who knows what, but the attachment here that prevents us from doing the things we want to do is attachment to our comfort zone. We can't be bothered. It's too much effort. I'll do it later. This is a crime against ourselves, you know. So what is it that, you know, in other words, what is it that takes too much effort is the thing that you can't do. And the thing you can't do is what disturbs our attachment, you know. So it's, it's such a good thing to do, but do it slowly, one step at a time. So catch your mind when you think, I must do that, and you go, oh, no, I'll do it later. No, do it now. Later never comes, you know. We know this. And I think also the thing is this, let's say even something simple like you decide to, I don't know, eat, your, less, eat, eat less cake, let's say. And you have to make an effort to do that because attachment would rather eat the cake. That's the habit. But you know what? I've discovered that if you make the effort and keep your hand in your lap and, and, and leave the cake there, the pleasure that you, you know, that you do get from making effort is far better than the pleasure from the cake. That's for sure. The effort to do the job you want to do, to even just clean the kitchen cupboard, you feel so much better later than if you just said, I'll do it later, you know. I think we all understand this one. So give it a go.